and realization. It is our very humble submission that framed in those general speculative terms, lacking clear, cogent, probable evidence, these petitions lack merit. It is made worse, my ladies and my lords, by the fact that the petitions make grave allegations of a criminal nature, fraud, tampering with election materials and results, conspiracy to unlawfully influence an election outcome, and even implied treason. Implied treason. All that without a shred of evidence. All that without a shred of evidence. Especially as it relates to the Honorable Chebukati the chairman of the commission. The vilification against this gentleman goes beyond anything we have ever had before in this courthouse. It was personalized. It was vindictive. It intended to lower his standing in our community and within the legal profession. It was unwarranted. I have had occasion again to defend Mr. Chebukati, although he was not my client. I was in a different office. But I recall mentioning in 2017, before your lordships, that this gentleman was being vilified for doing exactly what the minor Kiai court told him to do. It told him, don't touch the results coming out of the polling station. That is the final result. We then came here to this court, and he was called all manner of names at that time.